Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. So I've been doing research on wood joining or just joining two parts together. Either wood, either 3D printed parts and all of the things, just joining two parts together. I will make this into a series of joining 3D printed parts together using different kinds of method from wood joining from different kinds of method that I'll be doing more research in the future. But in this video, we will be looking at spline meter joint. Let's go to this topic. Okay, so what is spline meter joint? You want to make a 90 degree angle. You have two pieces like this. Essentially, you want it to be like this, right? So make a 90 degree angle right here. You can make a box out of these and have like a motive for silicone, for resin and stuff that you are created. This is great because if you want a smaller size mold, then you can just make them smaller. But if you want a bigger size, you can print bigger piece like this and connect them like this if you have one over here one over here essentially make a square but in today's video i'll just do a very simple of joining these two pieces together i've been watching some woodworking videos and a wood piece is like this it's square off like this what they do with wood is they cut the angle like this around 45 degree angle so you can stack two pieces of wood like this and make a perfect 90 degree angle they cut the wood in a 45 degree angle like this they put some tape down here and they put glue here and fold it together like this and that is good, right? But here comes the joining part. They will carve this piece either a square or a triangle. It really depends on what you're working with. So this is 3D printer, so I just make a square for simplicity. You use a separate wood or a separate piece to join them together in here like this so that it is way, way stronger than just having these two pieces glued together. Of course, you're gonna need to glue this in order for it to be super strong and super tight together so that if you're using resin or silicone, it does not seep through the seam here. And if you look at it, it looks really cool, right? Because it's two color. You can use any color you want for 3D printing. It's that amazing. You can make this piece red. You can make you can make this other piece blue, and you can make this gray, black, white, whatever color you want. It's 3D printing. It's super super easy. You can get these pieces to fit together very easily. You don't have to do any cutting. All you need to do is just do modeling on a CAD software like Fusion 360 and other CAD software out there. This is very simple to do. And look at this. I made a heart. That was not even intentional. Very simple to do on a CAD software. But when I look at the wood working videos on YouTube, it seems quite difficult because they gotta cut it, they gotta do this, they gotta do all these things, it's just so complicated but with 3D printing, these kind of things are very very simple now. Let's say you have these two as wood pieces, right, and you want to make this thing inside, you can just do the measurement and then just 3D print this piece inside and just fit it perfectly like this, it's actually super strong, and just glue it together. Let me show you on Fusion 360 how I model this. So here is how I make the spline meter joint. I start by making a sketch of a square, 50mm by 50mm, it can be whatever you want. I'm gonna extrude it by 50 just to make it a cube so that it's much easier to work with. I will do another sketch here. And I'm gonna draw a diagonal line right here so that it's 45 degree. You can do this in multiple ways, but um, this is how I do it. So now I have that, I'm gonna use this split body tool up here, like my body. Select the splitting tool and select this line so that it splits perfectly in the middle so that we have this triangle shape. Okay, so now I'm gonna extrude this over here by what? By 50 millimeters. I'm gonna hide the other body like that. Then do the same thing for this body, extrude by 50 millimeters. Now I have something that looks like this. And we want to make this joint down here. As you saw in the model that I have, make a sketch behind here and find the midpoint of these two. Do 10 on each side for a total of 20. Do a sketch of 20 on the side so that we have a perfect square here. Make a square, extrude this. We're gonna extrude about 20 so that it's just square for simplicity. And we have that, look at that. Now what we can do is make another sketch here. But here we're gonna offset this by whatever your 3D printers can do. So on the cable max, I can do a 0.1 and 0.1 offsets like that. And down here, I'll do a 0.1 offsets like that too. And now I will be making a square, connecting that dot with this portion right here. So that you can see right here, it has a 0.1 millimeter gap. So now let's extrude this all the way through over here. Instead of joining, I will make it a new body. Just click OK. And now we have it. And now we have it. We are basically complete with this line meter joint here. If you want to make a square, you can just copy all the body. You can just copy all the body, move them 
rotate them, move them up, move them back, just like that. And yeah, perfect, right? Now, what we can do is select everything again, use the mirror tool, select this as the mirror plane, but we are gonna do new body, like that. We now have a square mode inside here, and we can print all of this with the spline meter joint on every single corner. And this is just looking really gorgeous. You can print them in whatever color you want. It will turn out really amazing. Just make sure you fill it out all the edges here so that you don't have any rough edge and it's gonna poke you or poke somebody else. That's basically how I make these meter joint. And look at that, we now have the color that I printed earlier. So yeah. It is really really cool these joints. So I hope this tutorial helps you on making these spline meter joint. If not, let me know in the comment down below and I will help you with the best of my ability. Like I said, it's very simple to do on Fusion 360. Yeah, and as you saw there, it's simple to make these pieces join together and it's it's actually sticking together right here too. So if you want it to be super strong, just super glue it or just use some 3D glue or whatever adhesive you have for joining 3D printed parts together. This is printed PLA and it is print gorgeously yeah of course you can just 3d print this whole pieces out together but you won't have this so it's not so it doesn't look that cool and let's say you want to make something very big right and your 3d printer does not have the bad volume for it this is actually a very good way to do it you can print four pieces like this and then just connect all them together if your 3d printer is not allowing you to print the whole thing in one go and if you want to modify like let's say you want to make a rectangle you can make this piece longer you can make this piece shorter and then connect them let's say you want to make a triangle right you can just take you can just take these out and then just swap the pieces it's very simple like that if you glue them it's gonna be a little bit harder to remove them from each other i just love learning more about these joints in the future so if you want to learn more about joints too subscribe to the channel leave a like comment down below what do you think about this what do you think about my method and do you use these kind of joints or do you just use like whole joint just make a hole and then just plug it in together let me know in the comments down below and yeah as always keep on 3d printing